Hello, wonderful people. Welcome back to my channel, The Teacher's Best Friend. So for today's episode, I am going to discuss the part two of Hacking Classroom Management. And this is uh, the hacks number four, five, and six. Are you ready? Let's begin. Hack number four, get them up and get them moving. We all know that the attention span of our students is very short. So if you make them sit whole day or for a long time, you will just get a, an inattentive student or a grumpy student or someone who is not motivated to learn. And according to John LeCar, a desk is a dangerous place for which to view the world because sitting on a chair will not get your students anywhere. So what are the ideas to implement in order to get your students moving? First, you need to decide to get moving. You need to like the activities. As a teacher, you will be the one to initiate the activities. So you have to make a big decision in creating lessons that will allow students to get moving. So the decision first is from you. Decide to get moving. Step number two, find some spots. I know some classrooms are not uh, spacious. Uh, you can say that I don't have enough space for my students to move. Well, you can always book a time for the gym or for your playground or sometimes in, in your uh, common hallway, you know. Uh, find some spots in your campus or in your school where you can do some movement activities that are integrated to your lesson. Step three, get them moving. You have to find lessons, you have to find activities that you will uh, enjoy and at the same time, your students will enjoy as well. Step four, start finding new ways to move. And what are those? Well, you can uh, think of lessons like um, theater, speech and drama, or sometimes you can do a debate. You can do uh, like treasure hunting and all those movements. You can even go to the garden and do scavenging hunt, things like that. You need to start finding new ways so that your students and yourself can move around. Step five, arrange your class. What does that mean? You can rearrange the you know, seating arrangements, your table. You can put some corner where kids can practice their activities. And you can even get some standing desk. Like in one corner, put some chairs or desks that will allow students to stand up instead of sitting all day in their individual chair. So those are some ideas that you can implement. Now let's move to hack number five. Walk their walk and talk their talk. What does that mean? Especially with the bigger students, with like uh, the junior high or the high school students, if you are going to observe, they have their different uh, interests, they have their different language, they have a secret code, they have secret activities and all of those. So as teachers, we can leverage on those. Walk their walk and talk their talk. And one of the famous way that kids are enjoying to do is social media. Of course, you will complain. Social media, yes. We can use social media in a positive way. It says you can either allow your social media to be helpful for you or it can be harmful. I like it to be helpful. That's a core earning to uh, Shara, a musician. And what are the social media that you can um, possibly use? Well, you have your Instagram, your Twitter, your Facebook, your YouTube, your G Suite, and all those. So try to explore and see what best interests your students. So how can you do this? First, you need to conduct a survey. 
conduct a survey on what is the favorite social media of your students. Is it the Facebook? Is it the Instagram? Is it the Twitter? So you have to conduct a survey. And after that, you need to familiarize yourself. I know for some teachers, they social media or technology is not their thing. But as teachers also, we need to keep learning so we can uh, catch up with the interest of our students so we can get them um, interested with our lessons. So the task is to familiarize yourself and then learn the language. What are the language that they are using? Like with hashtags, memes, GIFs, uh, tagging and all those language that they are using, we need to familiarize with the language that they are using. And then after that, you can try it. Take a little step and try using the social media that you are most comfortable with. You can tell your students, uh, invite them in your uh, group on social media and try to uh, send them assignment or just send them some instructions, things like that. A simple one, start with a very simple one, okay? So how do you implement that, okay? First, step one, you need to set your account. So if you don't have your account yet on Facebook or maybe Twitter or Instagram, you can start creating. Kids will enjoy uh, seeing you on those social media, okay? Step two, find out how it works. Like for example, you don't know how uh, Twitter works. So you have to make a research how it works. Uh, even the messenger and uh, Facebook, like a creating group or Facebook page, you need to find out how it works. And then once you are familiar with it, you have an account, start inviting your uh, students. And of course, do not forget to uh, create your housekeeping rules, okay? You are um, encouraging them to use those uh, social media account and all, but as teacher, it is your responsibility to set the housekeeping rules, the do's and don'ts, okay? Step number three, create a social media related assignment. Like for example, I, I have seen one assignment uh, in the social media where in uh, teachers, they uh, made their students create like a dance competition and they uh, video themselves and post it on Facebook. And then they ask their parents and friends to vote by just uh, doing the thumbs up. And then after that, the next day, they will find out the winner. So you can do things like that. They can create a choreography. They can create a uh, like a role play and uh, post it and invite people to be the judges by doing thumbs up. And of course, you need to remind your students to use uh, and follow the policy of those social media. It means be respectful to people, you know, like when they make comments, when they post things, they should select their language, only a positive and all those. So as teachers, that is your duty and responsibility to make your students follow the rules, okay? Or create the rules with them, as I have mentioned in my first uh, classroom hacks episode. In order for the students to follow the rules, you have to create the rules with them so that they are comfortable and because they are uh, involved in creating the rules, they will follow it. And step four, let students share their work. Like for example, if your assignment is uh, take a photo of your favorite place in this community and then post it on Instagram and then you share it with your friends, things like that. So they should start sharing their work. So it means leverage with what interests uh, your students. And nowadays, what interests them is the technology and social media. So walk their walk and talk their talk, all right?
So hack number six, let's get personal. Like what Dr. Seuss says, each person is unique. Each person is different. He says, today you are, that is uh, you, that is truer than true. And there's no one alive who is youer than you. So it means each individual person is unique. So let's get personal with our students. What does that mean? So this is the full Im implementation of uh, making personalized lessons. First, step one, reflect on various teaching methods. There's so many of them. Teachers, you, kn you know those methods, okay? It can be, uh, you know, group reporting. It can be interviewing. It can be survey. It can be uh, presentation or uh, creating a poster together. So many things that can uh, encourage your students, okay? So you have to reflect on various teaching methods and look for places to personalize learning. So in your classroom, maybe you can put in one corner a computer nook, in the other one a, a viewing, and the other one is an art uh, corner. So kids that are into art can start it creating their assignment and lessons integrated to art. And step three, add variety and choices. So if you are going to ask your students to watch a uh, movie on, uh, let's say about respect. So you cannot just assign one movie. You can select a lot and let them choose because some people, they like cartoons some they like, you know, drama, some they like comedy. So add variety of choices if you're going to give them assignments or activities. So they have uh, the liberty or the freedom to choose what interests them and uh, what uh, is comfortable and what is enjoyable for them. Step four, consistently reflect on the process. So you need to keep looking back if the activities that you're, you are providing is uh, exciting, interesting, and even promotes learning. So if not, you can always adjust and find other means or other uh, teaching methods. All right? So those are the hacks for today. So next episode, I am going to present uh, the number seven, eight, and uh, nine and 10. So that will complete the series of uh, classroom management hacks by Mike Roberts. And once you master this classroom management hacks, you will be the teacher that they make movie about. You will be the superstar teacher. Okay, so bye for now. And thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And then if you have questions, write them in the comment down below. So thank you for watching. See you in my next episode. Bye.